Hi, kindergartners. It's me, Mrs. Carr. It is so nice to see you. I have really missed all of you. And I'm so glad that you're here to do some math today. Today, we will be talking about teen numbers. What do you remember about teen numbers? Teen numbers like 12, 13, 14 are numbers that have one group of 10 and extra ones. For example, here you see 11 dots. 11 is a teen number because it has one full group of 10, one full 10 frame, and one extra one. What number is this? That's right, 14 is also a teen number. There's one full group of 10 and four extra ones. Here are all of our teen numbers. Can you count them with me? There's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. All of these numbers have one full group of 10 and some extra ones. Sometimes with a teen number, you can hear the name of the extra ones. Like in the number 14, I can hear four in 14. And with 16, I can hear six in 16. But some teen numbers don't have the name of the ones in the teen number name. For example, 11. I know there's one extra one in 11, but I don't hear one in 11. There are two extra ones in 12, but I don't hear two in the number 12. I don't hear three in 13, and I don't hear five in 15, but 15 does kind of sound like five. We can make T numbers by taking a 10 and some extra ones and putting them together. When you have 10 and four extra ones, I see one full group of 10 and four extra ones here. When we put those together, we get the number 14. I can count. I'll count efficiently. I'm going to start with the 10. I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I know that there are 14 dots. And I also know that 10 and 4 more makes this written numeral 14. The tens place tells me that there's one group of tens, and the ones place tells me that there are four extra ones. Let's practice making teen numbers by putting tens and some extra ones together. Whew, did I get really big? Those are some of the fun things you get to do with technology. Okay, friends, I'm going to show you two 10 frame cards, and you're going to tell me what's on each card. And when I put them together, then you're going to tell me how much that makes all together. So let's first look at this card. How many do you see? That's right, it's 10, a full 10 frame. How many do you see here? Awesome, I see four extra dots. So let's try it. 10 and four is the same as 14. Perfect. If I wasn't sure, I could prove it. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 dots. Ooh, let's try another one. How many do you see here? Still 10. How many do you see here? Two. 10 and two are the same as 12. Very good. Ooh, this has a few more dots, but I know you can do it. How many do you see? 10. How many do you see here? Six. Some of you might have been thinking five on top, five and one more is six. Five, six. 10 and six are the same as 16. Beautiful. How many here? Still 10. How many here? Five. 10 and five are the same as 15. One last one, because I know you need a challenge. Oops. How many here? 10. How many here? 
Good. That's nine. Oops, that's nine. That was a funny way to say nine. That Those are nine dots. I know if I had one more dot, that would be 10. So 10 take away one is nine. Now I know 10 and nine are the same as 19. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to try again putting tens and extra ones together. But this time, I will show you numerals. I will show you numbers. I want to start, ooh, let's do this one. How did you see here? That's right, it's 10. And what do you see here? A four. 10 and four are the same as 14. It even made a 14. So I see my one group of 10 and my four extra ones. I know that in the number 10, I have one group of 10, but I have zero ones. So now when I add those four extra ones, I don't have zero ones anymore. I have four ones. That makes 14. Beautiful. Here's another one. How many here? 10. What number is this? Three. 10 and three are the same as 13. And this is what 13 looks like. How about, what do I have here? 10. And what do I have here? That's 6. 10 and 6 are the same as 16. Beautiful. Let's try it a little more quickly. 10 and 8. 10 and 8 are the same as 18. 10 and 1. 10 and 1 are the same as? 11. Beautiful. You are doing such a good job, kindergartners. I am really proud of you. Ooh, I'm tiny again. All right. So just like how we can make teen numbers by putting a group of 10 and some extra ones together, we can also break them apart. So look at my number here again, 14. Sometimes when we're adding numbers or um, trying to do some kind of math or make numbers friendlier, we can break big numbers apart. When we break apart 14, it breaks apart into the tens. So that's one way to break it apart is into the tens. So one group of 10 and the four extra ones. So taking that whole number and breaking it apart into the tens and the one. So we said it breaks apart into 10 and four. So we're going to practice that now together, taking a teen number and breaking it apart into the tens and the ones. Are you ready for Jumbo Mrs. Carr again? Ah, so big. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let me scoot back. Let's start with this number. How many do you see? That's right, it's 12. Let's break apart 12. 12, one group of 10, two extra ones. Good. There's another one. What number do you see? 14. Let's break it apart. 14, one group of 10, four extra ones. Beautiful. Here's another one. Think about how many you see. Let's break it apart. You're right, it's 16. Break it apart. 16, one group of 10, six extra ones. Now let's try it with the cards. Ooh, what number should I start with? Looks good. What number do you see? That's right, it's 17. Let's break it apart. 17, one group of 10, seven extra ones. Beautiful. What number is this? 14. Break it apart. 14. One group of 10, four extra ones. And let's do one last challenge. Oh, how about a big challenge? Yeah. What number is this? 23. Good. Let's break it apart into the tens and the ones. 23, 20. And three. Beautiful. Some of you might have said 23, two groups of 10 and three extra ones. That's perfect too. Great job, my friends. Ooh, I love that we still get to practice math. So 
So now that we've reviewed what teen numbers are, we've practiced making teen numbers and breaking them apart, now you get to play two matching games. In the first matching game, you're going to match the teen number with the matching 10 frame. That's your first game. And after that matching game, you get to play another game where you match the teen number with the broken apart tens and one. So you could match 15. We know that's one group of 10 and five extra ones. Have fun playing your matching game. You can close out of this video and click the blue arrow to go to the matching games. I am so proud of you kindergartners and I can't wait to see your great math thinking. Bye.